Christmas over and done with. Uh, kids have dropped off at the mum's. Um, so now I'm in a new location. <laughs> so we're doing some sea fishing, uh, meeting up with Rough and Ready. It's Boxing Day. Um, yeah, just got to find this bayer. There's all these like, I'm, I'm driving along a sea wall, which is about the width of my lorry. It's a bit iffy because there's sheer drops on the other side. I'll show you in a minute and let's see the other side. Um, but there's these great big bays, uh, you know, every so far. So I've got to go to the third bay and um, get parked up there. Um, looks like the tide's back coming in now. So it's a bit wet and a bit windy. So I'm going to show you where we are. Yeah, there's the road I'm on. <laughs> uh, and you can just see, just there, there's another bay. I, I, I was looking for bay three, but apparently it's the third bay I've got to go. So this, I'm in bay one at the moment. So I've got to go to, uh, so be over, uh, over there somewhere. It's all like chemical factories and all sorts here. And that's the Umba. I'm going to see if we can catch some cod. Um, I've got plenty of potatoes. So, I want some fish and chips tonight. So, yeah, I'm going to stay here for a few days. And this is a complete new park up for me. It gets really busy apparently on these bays. So, people, you know, come here early. But we can stay overnight. So, it's a bonus for us. But with it being Boxing Day, I do see there is some cars down the road. So, yeah, I'll come back. To here we go. It's a, apparently, it's a big, big bay. So, I've got her tucked in there. Um, but yeah, this is like loads of little bays around. This is so I don't know if we've just missed it, if it's coming in, coming out, I don't know, I haven't even looked at times. <laughs> I'm going to grab some dinner, just walking them up. She's not in a peak because it's wet. So, but yeah, there's loads of these little bays all the way down and they get really busy. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Well, what can I say? It's a bit shit out there. It's a bit grey, windy, but I'll tell you what, considering I'm so exposed here, the truck's not rocking, and it's quite nice, actually. <laughs> I miss being by the sea. So yeah, tide's going out now. I looked up the tide times. Uh, it's on its way out. I think the next hour or so it should be getting out. So high tide is right up here. Um, so yeah, it's... We'll be starting about 8 o'clock tonight. It's 10 o'clock high tide again, so you normally do about two hours before. So I'll watch when the weather, when it comes in and start, probably about, I don't know, half seven, eight o'clock. Um, yeah, it'll be a midnight finish. But yeah, it's nice to be back on the sea again, even though it's a bit grey and miserable. So just waiting for, oh, what you call a rough and ready. To come up this road soon. I think he might be here in about an hour. Um, so yeah, I've just YouTube's on, getting all my fishing gear ready, kettles on. That's about it. I'm just gonna have a chill. All right. Look who's turned up. Yeah. About. Is it and you can see the ears rough and ready. Ugh. Better late than never. <laughs> Here we go, day two, sea fishing. Uh, it's the morning now. Rainy caught, uh, I didn't film it. Should have filmed it really. Uh, and he got one little flounder last night. A little tiny one. Uh, so he went back, now we're just, uh, just cast it out. It's a nice still morning. It's not too bad out there. Spin your mm, So yeah, it's probably not cod weather. We like a bit of rough weather, but we'll see what we do this morning. Rough and ready has gone. He had to go back last night, go and pick his uh, girlfriend up. So he's on about coming back later on. So looking off some guys on the next sort of peg along who, who left last night, give me a whole pile of uh, ragworm. So we've got that to use today as well, and we've got some for tonight. 
so that saved us on a bit of because we were struggling so yeah we'll come back to, to what we catch today hopefully we catch some teeth for tonight well that's not a sound you want to be hearing when you park next to a chemical factories and Hmm. I'm hoping it's a test. But that generally is a fire. <laughs> um along with it might be it's half past nine, so it could be a test. Oh it's gone. Yeah, it wasn't. That was a little bit worrying. I was thinking, hmm, I might get the truck started up. Because <laughs> I know Conoco, or Conico, or whatever you say it, um, there's a big petrol fiery, a good bit down the road. It's often has a few fires. Uh, yeah, that was a little bit, <laughs> ooh, scary. Especially when it's thick fog as well. But yeah, so day three here, we're just about to go, well, I got off, just got off, but got a, a guy over there who'd come across last night, I think, I think that was him, and uh, we got a subscriber, you can't see out the window or anything, uh, just on the next one there, he come down chatting to me last night, <laughs> it's lovely here. Looks good. Still hear sirens. Not the big one though. So, right. As you can see, it's raining. And that little thing won't get up. She won't get up for the wheeze. Are you going for walkies? Are you coming? Are you coming? <laughs> so, as most of you have probably heard, old Doris and the government don't seem to be locking us down for New Year's Eve. So that's a bit of a bonus. Um, a group of us are all going to meet up, van lifers and stuff up at um, Leicester. At the Beehive Bushcraft, somewhere a bit different. Depending on the weather. If it's chucky, I'm, I'm going whatever. But, you know, if it's if it's cold and snowy and stuff, but if it's chucking down rain, I'll probably not go. It's going to be horrible and damp. I've got two kids and they will just whinge uh, if they can't, you know, mess around in the woods. So, yeah, that's our plans for New Year. I'll do the New Year as a complete separate vlog. Um, but uh, this this vlog will go up to it. So today, doing a camper meetup uh, for Clee Campers on Facebook group. So it's just down the road from me, Cleethorpes. I'm on the way home. Um, I've got to be back at my mum's house for tomorrow morning. I've got a delivery uh, of my lad's, well it was going to be mine, it's a new laptop, custom built one, um, with all Linux software in it. And um, yeah, my lad's just decided just for Christmas, oh my computer's broken, so guess what his birthday present is. <laughs> I'll never have anything nice myself. So, yeah, I've still got a smashed up laptop still. I might get one one day. So, yeah, Dave uh, Mitchell, a guy I know, I met him at one of the that off-grid type um, awake festival. He's been building it for me. We've had a few complications because the first computer I got, it broke, sent that one back. So he's had to get me another one and rebuild that one. So yeah, it should be coming, so past for say 29th, before 1 o'clock, that's all I've got. So, I'm going to have to sit outside my mum's and wait for him. <laughs> She's away, so I've got to be there to take it. So yeah, that's my plans today. It's the 28th, I think today. 20, yeah, 28th. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because tomorrow, yeah, that's right. So it's the 28th today, like I say, going, it's only down the road, because I'm just not far from Grimsby. Meeting up at Clee Boating Lake, having a meet up with all these campers, get some film footage there. And then I'm going to try and get parked up outside my mum's tonight, and that's it, wait for the parcel. Go over to off -grid, Mini Off-Grid Nomad's birthday on the 
and then pick him up and then we're all away with the kids for another week till I'm back at work on the is it the fourth fourth or month I don't know now third or fourth I think it's the fourth because of bank holidays so yeah that's the plans at the moment and my only other plan is to wait is to wait that up come on you getting up come on you getting up come on then let's go up let's go to the toilet <laughs> you get to the toilet come on then she says are you stupid i can hear it raining there's no way i'm gonna go out there in the rain i'll dissolve are you coming come on then <laughs> The battles with her. That's all I get. <laughs> I think she'll just sit there and wee and poo herself if, if I'd let her. <laughs> right. I'll catch you all later. Hey, right. here we go. We got to Cleethorpe's. Sunny, lovely Cleethorpe's. If anyone's been here before, you'll know the Super su su Sunday Market, which is long gone. Um, and I forgot, there is actually a motorhome stop here. Ten quid a night, it says on the gate. Uh, I think there's a phone number. I uh, don't know what you get with that. It looks like it could be some electric hookups over there. But um, yeah, there's the pier in the distance. Um, so this is down at the Cleveland Seafront. So I'm just on the way down to the boating lake now. So we'll uh, take you along. <laughs>
parked up. Shame all this isn't open. It's a little miniature railway which runs up and down. And at the end of it is a little pub. I think it's classed as the smallest pub in... I don't know if it's the smallest in Britain or smallest in Lincolnshire. And our Cleethorpe's boat in Lake. I always remember it. Radio One Road Shows. If you can remember them, you can always remember when they did one here. <laughs> Weird. That's going back some years. Yeah, just taking them up for a walk, aren't we? Look at the shivering. She's like, Dad, just get me back. <laughs> Is that it? You done? Oh, jeez. Right. First day. Got a couple hours to wait. Got a few campers turned up. Oh, I've seen that one. Funny enough, the white and orange one, he used to work for me. <laughs> Years ago, he used to drive one of your vans. Oh, you a bit muddy here. It's a tiny one. Got a few more turned up. Get the eggs. 